What's good YouTubers, it's your boy Josh Green here. So this video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. So first of all, this is called the Serious 6 tag, where it asks 6 questions, and they all have to do with survival. I got tagged by Caribou Country Outdoors. So Caribou, I apologize for the delay on this video, but if you guys want to check out Caribou Country Outdoors, I want to post his channel link down below so let's go ahead and get this started all right everybody so first question what shit hit the fan scenario do you fear the most all right so some examples of that could be nuclear it could be biochemical it could be something like martial law and for me personally just like what everybody else has said it would definitely have to be biochemical i mean just imagine the fear it would bring to have something in the air, something in your food, something in your water supply. I mean, that would just be absolutely terrifying. So that is definitely my answer. It would be biochemical for sure. All right, you guys, so second question. In a shit hit the fan scenario, we suffer from a total economic collapse. If the dollar loses all value, what do you have readily available as currency? It can be material items or a skill set. Alright, so you guys, I'm definitely not like a coin collector. I don't really have anything of value in my home. Um, so, in all honesty, I don't have too much to give. But, you know what? In a world where everything is just going to shit, I got plenty of catfish fillets. I got plenty of fillets in my freezer, so I could definitely use that as some sort of currency to bargain or to trade with the other people. So, definitely, that's what I would use. My fish fillets, baby. All right, you guys, so third question. In a shit hit the fan situation, your mindset is to dig it or bug out and why? All right, so for those of you guys that don't know me, I actually almost named my YouTube channel City Country Boy because I love living in the city, but I also love everything that Mother Nature has to offer. I just love the convenience of a city, the, all the amenities it has to offer, but I also love being outdoors as well. So this question is a little bit more complicated for me to answer but if I had to answer it personally I would choose to dig in and the reason being is because currently my house sits right on the edge of the city and it's surrounded by woods and I actually have a creek beyond my house so personally I would choose to dig in and just settle here at my house and if need be I could just easily just bug out and just go straight into the woods all right guys, so fourth question. In a shit hit the fan situation, what environment would you prefer to be in and why? Wilderness or urban? All right, so this question kind of ties into the previous question. It's almost the same thing, but would I prefer to dig in or bug out? And I would honestly say that I would love to dig in, especially if it's the current house and I could stay in the house that I reside in right now. I would definitely love to stay here i feel safe here and i got the woods behind me just in case i do need to bug out but i feel like i could survive here at my home so definitely dig in all right you guys question number five what are your three strongest skills that you can bring to the table in a shit hit the fan situation all right you guys so here are the three skills that i can bring to the table that i have that would especially be beneficial in a shit hit the fan situation. So, number one, adaptability. Uh, like I said earlier, I could live in an urban environment. I could live out in the wilderness. It doesn't really matter. I'm very comfortable in both elements. Uh, so, just being able to be adaptable would be super beneficial because you never know where you might have to end up or where you might have to travel to in a... Uh, in a crazy world out there so that would be my first one just being adaptable all right so number two my second skill set some of you guys might have seen this coming but actually just being a fisherman so I could be out there for hours upon hours upon hours just going out there and fishing and just bringing in a lot of food to the table just bringing in fish and you never know in a world where everything is just going to shit I mean, fish and food could definitely be beneficial in bartering and obviously surviving. So, fishermen would be my second skill set. 
and my third skill set is my social and communication skills. So ever since my last job that I was at for about six years, I was a trainer, so I'm always dealing with people. Um, I've always been very open, and all of you guys know that that currently work with me right now. Everybody that knows me, um, I'm not scared to go up to anybody and just start talking to them, where a lot of people otherwise would be very, very shy. I have a great way of boosting morale, uh, camaraderie, and just, I have this way of just bringing everybody together and sticking together, making people feel good about themselves because I know how to communicate with them. So my social and communication skills would definitely be a huge skill set, and that is my third one. All right, you guys, so the sixth part on the, uh, on the list is I have to tag three YouTubers that have less than a thousand subscribers to do the series six tag questions. And the last two guys, Caribou Country Outdoors and I think uh, Hiking Deep, I think you're on there too. I think you're the one that started it. Uh, you guys have been tagging six people. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tag six people that have under a thousand subscribers. I got the list right here. So Morales, Texas Fishing. What's up, Frank? Yeah, buddy, I tagged you. Uh, we got Outdoor Fanatic, that's my buddy Tyler. Um, JNC Fishing Channel. We got Old Buzz Tail, Fishing with Fredo. And All right, so on the last person, I accidentally named somebody that had over a thousand subscribers. I'm just gonna try to keep everybody under a thousand. So I'm gonna give the very last one to C-Dub's Journey. Get it, girl. Tag all of you guys. I will leave the links in the description below so you guys can check them out and help support them as well. So thank you very much, Caribou Country Outdoors, for tagging me. I apologize once again for putting this video out late. But if you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll holla at you guys later. Peace out.